Hi, welcome to the Way to Eternal Life podcast with John Gill. Prepare your hearts and minds and be inspired as we open the Word of God today with you. Now, here is John Gill. Greetings in the name of the Lord. We just like to say welcome to all those who have tuned in to today's podcast. I am your host, John Gill. Let us start out with a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for this day, Lord. And we thank you, Lord God, Lord, for how you have blessed us, Lord, thus far, Lord God. And never leaving us alone, Lord God, Lord. We pray, Lord God, Lord, that the Bible says, be careful for nothing but everything through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to make our requests made known unto you. So, Lord, we're making our requests, Lord. We're making our plea, our our petition, Lord, to you, Lord God. So, Lord, we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, Lord, that you just humble hearts, Lord God, Lord, convict hearts, Lord God, Lord. We pray upon this podcast, Lord God, Lord, that this podcast will be anointed, Lord God, Lord. We pray for the inspiration, Lord God. We pray for all those that are sick in body, Lord God, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you would touch, Lord, and and heal for your glory, Lord God, Lord. We pray, Lord, for for those that are on the front lines, Lord. We pray for for everyone in every place, Lord God, Lord. And, and Lord, we pray, Lord, that we bless upon this very hour, Lord God, Lord. Bless this particular broadcast, Lord God, Lord. That will be, be glorified to you, Lord. Lord, that you and, and you alone will get the glory out of this podcast. And, Lord, whatever is accomplished, Lord, we give you the praise and the honor and the glory, Lord. We pray for rebuke against the devil, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that... Souls will be saved, Lord. Backsides be reclaimed, Lord. Sanctify believers that your name will be glorified. And whatever is accomplished, Lord, we give you the praise and the honor and the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, we thank you so much for tuning in to today's uh, uh, broadcast. And this is The Way to Eternal Life. Coming to you over all the major podcast stations. We appreciate every, every one of you all. Uh, that has tuned in each and every time. We appreciate those who've been listening to us by um, by way of YouTube. We appreciate you tremendously for God's glory. We thank you for those who've been tuning in to maybe to, to Spotify or to iHeart or wherever you've heard us. We thank you. Whatever media outlet that you've heard, heard these podcasts, we pray that these podcasts has been a tremendous blessing to you. And we are not, we're not out here, as some would say, we're not out here to just, just glorify ourselves or to lift up us, but we're here to lift up Christ. We're here to change lives. We're here to not only bring hope, not because it's a pandemic, not because that is, that is uh, whatever else, but we want to give hope to those who need hope. We want to bring hope. The, and that's what, that's what the, the, you know, when the angels came and they said that good, and then they told the shepherds and those that were feeding the flock and everything else, and naturally speaking, and the angel of the Lord came unto them saying that we bring you good tidings, fear not. For first of all, they said, fear not, but we bring good tidings of great joy unto this day. So we're bringing you good tidings of great joy. We're not giving you no sad news. We're not giving you a depressing news, but we're here to bring you the good news. That's what the gospel is. It's the good news of Jesus Christ. Jesus is here. He's alive and well. And, we're, you might, and we sing a song that says that he lives, he lives, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. So you might say, well, where, where is he found? The song poet says, he lives, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me. He talks with me. Along like narrow way. He lives, he lives. Salvation to in part. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. So we thank God for that. So at this time, we're going to we're going to, have, um, we're going to go ahead and transition. Um, we have a very um, wonderful um, selection. We pray that not only do you listen to the words of this song, but we pray that this song will be a tremendous blessing to you. And afterwards, we'll be right back after this. Um, after this message. So we thank you so much for tuning in and we pray that the song will be a blessing and we'll be right back. Trials. 
We will be right back. Here is a word from our sponsor. Now back to John Gill. Hey, you! If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. They have all the creative tools that will allow you to edit right on your phone or computer. Wow, that's awesome. Then we'll distribute to all the major platforms too. Awesome, man. You can make some money with no minimum li- listenership. So what are you waiting for? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Amen, amen, amen. Well, we thank so much for that beautiful song that he giveth more grace. And we thank God that he gives more grace when you need it the most. He doesn't give you, he, he, when the trials comes that, and, and you feel like it is so much to bear, the, the psalm point says that he gives more grace. Amen, amen. Well, we thank, you, we thank God for that song. Thank God for that song. We appreciate how God is blessing thus far. And this particular, as we're going through the word of God, I want you to pay close attention to thus saith the Lord. Not thus saith me, not thus saith um, the individual, but thus saith the Lord. And... We were thinking about uh, about this message, and I'm going to tell you this right now uh, to all of those who are listening. We do not sit here and just just throw something together, or really not really giving giving. This is not something where, where we're trying to give brownie points to, or or trying to do do do. Just, just trying to get brownie points and all that. No, we're here to bring you, like we said earlier in our introduction, we're here to glorify God 
but not only to glorify God, but we're also here today to actually share with you the good news. We know that we think that good news is, is bad news and bad news is, is good news, but we're here to give you the good news, the good news of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ that died that we may live a brand new life, a wonderful life. Amen. And as I was thinking about the, today's, uh, today's message, and my mind went to one thing. Now we know that during these, during these turbulent times that we deal with a, what we call is a pandemic. Now, people, would say that, oh, well, we're, we're, we're lifting up the, the um, they, they, they tell us to listen to the science, and they tell us to listen to this, and, and we got to wear a mask um, when we go out, and all of this, that, and the other. The new norm. People protesting, doing, doing all these things. And then here, by the time that this gets aired out, this will be, today is the month of May. This is the month of May. And this whole entire week, we are celebrating like, you know, like the, the achievements and what nurses and what, you know, this is the nurses week. And how do they say that nurses, they, they give their lives, they're on the front lines, or they... Or they say that the um, that the doctors and the, you know all the essential workers they say to, to keep our uh, keep our, uh, our 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 God help me to preach this message. Lord help me. We praying from I'm praying that this message will get and bring it out the way the Holy Ghost brought it to me. Brought it to me, sorry. And how did they always celebrate the frontline workers? And how did they always say that they are the, the heroes? That they, it takes a lot of courage to go out during the middle of a health crisis. And, and uh, they're the ones that are keeping the economy together. And they're the ones that's keeping the, the patients together. And that is all good in its place. And I'm not gonna, and I'm not knocking that they did not sacrifice, naturally speaking, to, for for the health and the and and the well-being of the people. But let me tell you something here today. You think they are the real heroes. You think that the doctors that are caring and are treating the patients and all of that during a COVID-19 and COVID pandemic, that they're the heroes. But let me tell you something today. And if there's any doctors or if there's any uh, nurses that are out there, we appreciate you. We appreciate you doing what you're doing. But let me tell you something. You would have never got what you got unless God gave it to you. You would have never got what God is unless God gave it to you. God's the one that gave you the gifts. God's the one that, if it ain't from the prayers of the righteous, all of us would have been dead. Every last one of us. It's the prayers of the righteous. The Bible says the prayers of the righteous availeth much. So it's the prayers, folks. It's the reason why that a lot of the cur uh, a lot of this stuff has not spread around.
But this is still God's way of getting your attention. I don't care if they say, well, well, the doctor, I was a lucky person. No, you weren't lucky. You were blessed because God could have had you dead. Life is in the power of God. God gives life and he can also take it away. So we're going to talk about something that is on my heart today. And we're going to open up our Bibles to the book of Philippians. Chapter number three. And I want you to listen to the words in the, in, in the uh, I want you to listen to the, to this message. And I want you to open your Bible. Don't take my word for it, but take what God said. These are God's words, not mine. And we're going to start reading at verse number seven. But what things were gained to me, though I counted loss for Christ? Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss. For the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. Verse 9. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness, which is of God by faith. In verse 10, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection, the fellowship of his suffering. Being made conformable unto his death. I'm going to read verse 11. If by any means I may obtain the resurrection of the dead. Today, episode, we're going to entitle this The True Hero to All. The true hero to all, that I may know him. Do you want to know the true hero today? And what hero are we talking about? Jesus Christ. And what is a hero? I thought I looked that word up. Took me a little while to find it, but I, I thought I'd look this word up. And it says, a person admired for achievement, a noble quality, one who shows great courage. Now, they may say, well, the, the doctors show great courage. They say the nurses show great courage. They say that the soldiers who give their life for this country, they're the real heroes. You know what I say? They may have given their lives that I may have the freedoms that we have. But let me tell you something. Jesus gave his life that I may live and that I may have life more abundantly. That's the hero. He gave his life for you. He left the comforts of heaven to come down to this, to this dark, cold, sinful world for you and I, that I may live a life free from sin. He was beaten. He was, he was nearly annihilated for you and me. Yeah, you, you know, they may say, well, the, well, the soldiers, they, they, they had the gun. Jesus didn't have that. 
And you know what? And the Bible says that he made himself of no reputation. He was not some handsome man that folks make it, make it appear to be. But he died for you. We, we talk about this all day about that, that Jesus is the, you know, he, 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 he was, yeah, I know that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and all this and that and the other. No, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection because he died when it is our sins that had him on the cross. And he died because he loved us. In John 3, 16, and we quote this, it's a very familiar passage, but this is what we're talking about, the true hero. It is says, and I quote this, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave. Talk about the true hero now. One that showed great courage. One, a hero, shows love and compassion for others. Not thinking about themselves, but they're thinking about you and I. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. What love, what such love that he gave himself for us, the ultimate sacrifice. And all he asks in return is that we give our life. Since he paid it all, but we sing the song, Jesus paid it all, the all to him we owe. Sin has left a crimson stain, but he washes white as snow. Jesus paid it all. Not the doctors. The doctors should not die for your sin. The doctors did not give all that you may be free from the state that you're in. Naturally speaking, you know, they'll say like, well, the doctors give tre treatments. Well, guess what? Jesus is the cure-all. He is what the poor say. He is the great physician. The true hero for all. But how many people out there that really want that true hero? And let me say this to all those that are saved. That same true hero died for the church. That same true hero is, is like a, he is your best friend. He ain't just like a best friend. He is your best friend. The true hero is, is there to comfort you, to, 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 to guide you into every decision. The great hero left us and paved the way for us. Show us how to live a godly life in this present world. The true hero. The true hero of all can heal us from this plague. The true hero. The true hero cares so much about your life that he says that, that it's not his will that any should perish, but that all should come to the knowledge and to all that come to repentance. I'm sorry. That all may come to repentance. The true hero. We hope that you enjoyed the Way to Eternal Life podcast today. If we can be of any help, please let us know by emailing us at contactjohngill at waytoeternallife.com. Once again, that is contact 
John Gill at waytoeternallife.com or visit us on our website at www.waytoeternallife.com or like us on Facebook at Way to Eternal Life 53. Don't forget to subscribe and download the podcast to get continuously episodes. And now, here is John Gill with the final thoughts. Friends, you've heard the message. You heard this word, the true hero of all. I don't know what anybody out there is going through right now. I don't know. But only God knows what you're going through. Only God knows what you're in need of right here and right now. Don't wait. Don't put off what you can do right now. Don't wait. When you wait, you will procrastinate and procrastinate. Don't let it be too late. Your first responder, your first frontliner. We talk about it, that ye may know him in the power of his resurrection. He is here for you today. Whether it be if you heard this tonight, whether you heard it in the morning, whether you heard it in the afternoon, or whatever day you've heard it, the hero is here for you today. He is here for you right now. Your frontliner is here. He's ready to heal you right now. Not talking about natural healing, but he wants to heal your emotions. He wants to heal your mind. Whatever you need healing in, he is here for you today. Will you come? Will you come? You know that he is, he is here for you. You know that he wants to be your, the Lord of your life. That we just talked about it, that we may know him. Do you want to know him and the power he gave? He gives you power. The same healer is here to give you power. My friends, he is there for you. He's there when nobody else is not there. He's your mother, he's your father, he's your friend. He's the provider. The great I am and the great I am is here for you today. Will you come? Where are you at, whether you're driving, listening, whether you are at the airport waiting to get on the plane, or wherever you might be, whether you're at home, whether you are in, uh, at your job, or wherever you are, the, he- the hero is there wherever, you, wherever you're at. Omnipresent, he's everywhere. And he's here for you right now. Wherever you, uh, if you are seeking, seek him with all your heart. Going to church is good, but it will never fix what your problem really is. Until you acknowledge what the problem is, you'll never get healed. You'll never get free. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And, and, and you, the Bible says, she shall bring forth the son, Matthew 121, and thou shall call his name Jesus, for Jesus saves his people from their sin. Jesus' people are saved from sin. Do you want to be free from sin today? Well, what is repentance? The Bible says, godly sorrow, Work it, repentance. That's Bible definition of what repentance is. It's godly sorrow. It's a brokenness. It's humility. You got to be humble to be saved. While the inspiration is here, you got to be, you got to have inspiration to get saved. And it takes the same inspiration to stay saved. While he is near, the Bible says, 
love and kindness have I drawn thee? God is drawing you. If he's drawing you right here, right now, why not humble your heart? Why not give up the sin business and get it right, right here? Don't do it because it's a fad. This is not a fad. Holiness is a way of life. It's not a religion. It's a way of life. You read a holy Bible. And God wants you to be holy. The Bible says be holy. For I am holy. He wants you, he wants you to be holy in your conduct. In your, in, your, in your character. The hero is here for you. The true hero is here for you today. Humble your heart. Humble your mind. Open up your heart. I don't know what you're searching for. I don't know what you were seeking. But God knows what you're seeking. He knows what you need right now. Give him a chance. And I promise you, my friends, you will never regret it. And if you have given your heart and life to him, let me tell you how to do it. The ABC of salvation, first of all, is more than just ask. You've got to acknowledge that you need help. And then you ask, Lord, I need uh, Lord, I need you. One. Two, believe that he just died. And not just he just died, but believe that he died on the cross for your sake. Truly believe within your heart. And then C, confess. That Jesus Christ is the Lord of your life. The hero is here. Will you come? If you don't know what to pray, pray this. I'm sorry, God. I truly am sorry for everything I have done. If you would forgive me of all my sins and teach me, Lord, how to live just like you in this present world. Lord, I will give, I will dedicate the rest of my life to you. And if you would pray that prayer with, if you pray that prayer or something similar to that, I want to hear from you. Email me at way, uh, contact John Gill at way to eternal or go on to our Facebook page and post the thing saying, I got saved. Or I rededicated my life to him. Or God has healed me or whatever. We would like to hear from you. On our Facebook page, uh, Way to Eternal Life uh, 53. Facebook.com, Way to Eternal Life 53. We would like to hear from you. And let me tell you something, my friends. We tr I truly love you out there with all my heart. And I'm praying for each and every one of you all. I may not know you by name, but I do, uh, but I do know that you need, you, we, we are praying for you. To our first, our true responders that are out there right now, we are praying for you. We love you. But give your heart and life to him. It's time to come back to God. And once again, there is a way to eternal life. May the Lord truly richly bless and may he keep you. Thank you for listening. And may God bless and keep you.